Hi everyone, welcome back to Kim Help ASAP. In this video, we are going to be converting between metric and imperial units. Now, imperial units are units such as feet, yards, pounds, gallons. Now, if you live in the US like I do, it's really important to be able to convert between those imperial units and the metric system, which most of the other world uses. So grab your calculator and let's get started with these problems. Before we begin any calculations, I want to show several of the conversions between the metric and imperial system. This is the table that we will use throughout all of the problems that we are going to do in this video. Obviously, this is not a complete list of the conversions between metric and imperial. The other thing I want to point out is I have labeled my metric units as SI units. These are because these are the international system of units. And for the problems that we are going to do in this video, the SI system and the metric system are going to be the same. Let's go ahead and jump into a problem. This problem reads, how many meters are in 52.3 feet? Meters is a metric unit. Feet is an imperial unit. So let's first find our conversion factor between meters and feet. On our table, it is our first conversion factor. When working any dimensional analysis problem, I like to start with the number the problem gave me. So I am starting with 52.3 feet. Now I need to make sure that I set up my conversion factor such that my feet cancel and I am left with meters. Here is my conversion factor. By putting feet in the denominator, you can see it cancels with the feet that was in my original problem. Now I am left with meters, or you can say I have converted into meters, which is exactly what I wanted to do. I'm going to grab my calculator. I'm going to put in 52.3 feet divided by 3.28, and this gives me 15.9 meters. Let's do another problem. This problem reads, how many gallons in a 2.0 liter bottle of soda? It's quite interesting how in the U.S. we do still use gallons, but all of our sodas are sold in either one or two liter bottles. So it is not uncommon to go and buy a two liter bottle of soda, but you maybe have never thought how many gallons is in that two liter bottle of soda. Well, let's calculate it. First, I'm going to find my conversion factor. Here's the factor between liters and gallons. Now I'm going to start with the number the problem gave me. Here is my 2.0 liters. Now I'm going to set up my conversion factor such that my liters cancel so that I am left with gallons in the numerator. Here is my conversion factor. Let's check and make sure units have canceled. By putting liters in the denominator, my liters cancel and I am left with gallons. Now I'm ready to grab my calculator. In my calculator, I'm going to put 2.0. I'm going to multiply by 0.264, and that gives me 0.53 gallons. So when you go and buy your two liter bottle of soda, you're actually buying about half a gallon. On to the next problem. This problem says, a recipe gives metric masses for all ingredients. However, your scale only measures in imperial units. How many ounces of flour and sugar should you weigh out if the recipe calls for 725 grams of flour and 400 grams of sugar? We need to convert both the 725 grams of flour and the 400 grams of sugar into ounces, which is an imperial unit. So let's find the conversion factor between grams and ounces. Here it is right here. So we are going to use this conversion factor for both of these conversions. Let's start with the flour. Here are my 725 grams of flour. Using my conversion factor right here, check and make sure you get cancellation of grams. Yes, now I have converted into ounces. Putting 725 times 0 0.0350 gives me 25.4 ounces. And specifically, that is ounces of flour. Let's go ahead and do the sugar. Starting with my 400 grams of sugar, using my conversion factor right here, such that my grams cancel, I am left with ounces. Grabbing my calculator, I'm gonna put 400 times 0 0.0350, and that gives me 14.0 ounces, specifically ounces of sugar. 
So now you can make your recipe. So far, these problems have all been one-step conversions. Let's do a few problems where we have to string along two steps. This problem reads, how many inches are in 12.3 meters? So we are going from meters, which is metric, to inches, which is imperial. But if you look at my chart, you can see that I can convert meters into yards and I can convert meters into feet, but I do not have a conversion factor from meters to inches. However, if I can convert meters into feet, then I know that there are 12 inches in one foot. So I'm going to use both of these conversion factors to get to the answer that I want. Starting with my 12.3 meters, like the problem gave me, first I'm going to convert from meters into feet. Here is my conversion factor. Notice that my meters cancel, and right now I am left with feet. Don't grab your calculator yet, because now we need to take feet to inches. There are 12 inches in one foot, so I'm going to set up my conversion factor such that my feet cancel and I'm left with inches. Here it is right here. Let's make sure everything cancels. You can see that, okay, feet and foot, it's just singular and plural. They do cancel, the unit cancels. And now I have converted into inches, which is exactly what the problem wanted me to do. So now I'm ready to grab my calculator. In my calculator, I'm going to put 12.3. I'm going to multiply by 3.28, and then I'm going to multiply by 12. My final answer is 484 inches. On to the next problem. This problem simply reads, convert 357 ounces to kilograms. It's not even a question, it's telling you what to do. Ounces, of course, is an imperial unit, and kilograms is a metric unit. Let's go to our table and see what we have. Well, I can convert ounces to grams. I don't have a direct ounces to kilograms. These are not in the same row. However, if I go ounces to grams, I can convert grams to kilograms. So these are the two steps that I am going to do. Starting with the number the problem gave me, 357 ounces. My first step is to convert ounces into grams. Here is my conversion factor. Let's check units. By putting ounces in the denominator, you can see my ounces have canceled. At this point, I have converted into grams. But of course, the problem has asked me for kilograms, so I'm not going to grab my calculator yet. I need another conversion factor. Now, this one is not listed in the table because it is a metric to metric conversion, but there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. Here is my conversion factor. Let's check units again. This time my grams cancel and now I am left with kilograms. At this point, I'm going to grab my calculator. I'm going to put in 357 divided by 0 0.0350 and then divided by a thousand. The answer I get is 10.2 kilograms. Now, if you need help with metric to metric conversion factors, specifically if you want to know how these prefixes work, I do have a video on that. You can check out the link at the top of your screen. But let's move on to our next problem. This problem reads, you are planning a party for kids who love Shirley Temples. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Shirley Temples, these are a sweet mixed drink that are appropriate for kids because there is no alcohol in them. Personally, I still love Shirley Temples. Let's keep reading the problem. Each Shirley Temple is 12 fluid ounces of soda and two fluid ounces of flavoring. You need to make 15 Shirley Temples. How many two liter bottles of soda should you buy? And how many 0.5 liter bottles of flavoring should you buy? And they give us a conversion factor of 0 0.0338 fluid ounces equals one milliliter. This is important because in the imperial system, a fluid ounce is different from an ounce. An ounce is a measure of mass. A fluid ounce is a measure of volume. So we need to convert these fluid ounces into milliliters, which we can then convert into liters and figure out how many bottles of each of our ingredients we need to buy. I'm going to start with the calculation for the soda specifically. So each Shirley Temple requires 12 fluid ounces of soda. Let's figure out how many liters that is. 
using the conversion factor that the problem gave me, I'm gonna set this up such that my ounces cancel and I'm left with milliliters. Here is the conversion factor. Let's check units. Ounces are canceling and now I have converted into milliliters, but I'm not finished yet because I need to know liters. So I'm gonna to have to convert this milliliters into liters. Because I'm in the metric system, I can just use the prefix. Here is my conversion factor. There are a thousand milliliters in one liter. But as always, let's check and make sure units have canceled properly. I put milliliters in the denominator, so it would cancel there, which now converts me into liters. So all my units have canceled except for liters. I am ready to do this calculation. In my calculator, I'm going to put 12.0 divided by 0 0.0338 divided by 1,000. My final answer is 0.355 liters of soda. Now let's make sure we keep this in the context of the problem. This is how many liters of soda I need for each Shirley Temple. This is not how many liters I need total. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out how many liters of soda I need to make 15 Shirley Temples. Now, you have probably already done this in your head even while I am talking, but I'm gonna show you how to set this up as a conversion problem. Starting with my 0.355 liters of soda per one Shirley Temple. I'm going to multiply that by 15 Shirley Temples. That is the number of drinks that I need to make. Check out my units. Shirley Temple cancels, and I am left with liters of soda. So putting my 0.355 times 15 into my calculator, which is again, probably what you just did in your head, I get 5.33 liters of soda. This is the volume I need to make all 15 Shirley temples. However, I am not quite through yet because the problem has asked me, how many two liter bottles of soda should I buy? Because I have to go to the store and buy a certain number of bottles. Again, you've probably already done this in your head, but I'm gonna show you how to calculate this using conversion factors. I am going to start with how many liters are in one bottle of soda. So in one bottle of soda, there are two liters of soda. Next, I'm going to multiply by how many liters of soda I need right here. Again, check out what happens to the units. The liters of soda cancel and I am left with bottles of soda. So when I do this calculation, I get 2.67 bottles of soda. What I want to show is even when you're doing these calculations in your head, you are actually doing proper conversions where your units are canceling. So you've been doing dimensional analysis all along. You didn't even realize it. Now for our final answer for the problem, how many bottles should you buy? Well, we're gonna have a hard time buying 0.67 bottles. So I'm going to round this up to three bottles of soda but we still need to do the same calculations and figure out how many bottles of flavoring we should add. Now I need a little bit more space, so let's go on to another page. This is the same problem, but now I'm gonna do the calculations for the flavoring. Just like I did before, I'm going to start with how many fluid ounces I need to make one Shirley Temple. Using the conversion factor that the problem gave me, I'm going to set it up like so. Again, let's check units. My ounces are canceling, great. Now I have converted into milliliters. So my second step is going to be converting milliliters into liters, just like we did before. Here is my conversion factor, 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Again, checking to make sure units cancel. Yes, my milliliters cancel, and now I am left with liters. So in my calculator, I'm gonna put 2.0 divided by 0 0.0338 divided by 1,000 and I get 0 0.059 liters of flavoring. Keep this in the context of the problem. This is how much flavoring I need for one Shirley Temple, but I need to make 15 of these. So just like before, I need to figure out how much volume I need total, and then I'll figure out how many bottles I need to buy. Just to show you a little bit different way, I'm going to start with the 15 Shirley Temples that I need to make. My conversion factor is right here. 
For each Shirley Temple, I need 0 0.059 liters of flavoring. Again, check out what happens to my units. Shirley Temple cancels and I'm left with liters of flavoring. So I'm going to take 15, I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.059 and I get 0.885 liters of flavoring. And I need to figure out how many bottles I need to buy. You guys have already figured that out in your head, but I'm gonna show you how to do that mathematically. Starting with how many liters of flavoring I need, Using this conversion factor right here, it tells me in one bottle of flavoring, I have 0 0.05 liters. Again, this is what the problem told me. Let's make sure units cancel as always. My liters of flavoring cancels and now I figured out how many bottles of flavoring I need. Putting this in my calculator, I'm gonna take 0.885 divided by 0.5. And of course I need 1.77 bottles of flavoring, which means I need to buy two bottles because I cannot buy a partial bottle. Again, once we hit this point right here, you guys knew just doing that calculation in your head that you need two bottles. But I do like to show how this is a conversion factor. You are doing dimensional analysis and you don't even realize it and you're doing it very easily. So just remember, sometimes you know more than you realize. I hope you now find converting between the metric system and the imperial system a little bit easier. Um, some practice goes a long way to understanding how to do these conversions. Now, if you wanna learn how to do other types of conversions, you can check out these videos here, and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.